Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Uh, it's Mr. Lopez here once again, and uh, hopefully you haven't forgot that St. Patrick's Day is today. Hope you're wearing your green. You know Mr. Lopez is wearing his green. Uh, hopefully the coronavirus hasn't taken away from the holiday spirit of the uh, holiday, right? Now, um, today what I'm going to be doing is uh, uh, kind of just catching you guys up on the assignment that I posted up yesterday just to follow along with the lesson, and some of you guys have emailed me saying, uh, Mr. Lopez, uh, can you kind of explain a little bit better about the assignment that uh, we had to create a supply curve on, or supply curve, like which pretty much is that graph on Excel, um, and that's okay. Yes, I'll gladly show you. Maybe I went a little bit too fast in the last video, so this video I'm going to kind of break it down just to help you out with making that with that, uh, that supply curve. Now, um, the other thing could have been as well that maybe there is just a little bit of confusion on the directions of the assignment uh, because it does say create a supply curve or a supply schedule and curve in the sheet, right? Now, uh, so you're probably thinking, well, well, wait, wait, what, what numbers? Okay, uh, well, it, it could have been any number. It could be any numbers. In fact, you could have just copied uh, the numbers that I used on my last video, uh, but that's okay. Um, as long as the numbers follow the law of supply correct so the law of supply states that for uh, at any given price right uh, if the price increases for a product then the supply will also increase unlike uh, unlike the supply uh, the the law of demand which is as the price increases uh, the demand for a product would decrease at any given price but uh, it's total opposite for, for supply because, of course, suppliers, they want to make more money as the, uh, as the price of the product increases, okay? Um, so this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be breaking this down so that way you guys can kind of tell how to do this, uh, this little supply curve. The first thing you want to do, okay, is uh, you want to start off by creating a supply schedule, all right? Essentially... What you're gonna need is, is two columns, okay, to make a a bar, uh, not a bar graph, a table, okay. Uh, now, generally, uh, for a supply uh, schedule, right? Uh, you have quantity supplied over here, right? And you have price over here in this column. You always have price on the left column and quantity supplied on the right column. Uh, but unfortunately, for uh, for uh, this Google Sheets, it doesn't really recognize it that well. It'll, I'll show you what I mean, okay? So, right over here, price, we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Just let's just pretend that's $1, $2, $3, dollars, okay? For quantity supplied, what do we put? Well, you know that the law of supply means that if the price increases, then so does the supply. So, right over here, let's just use like 2, I don't know, 4, 6, 8, and uh, 10. How about that, okay? So, you see right here, uh, for every increase, of one dollar for this product, the quantity supplied increases by two for each for any every given price. Um, so essentially, right, this is your basic supply schedule. There you go. You've already made it. Perfect. All right. That, you follow direction number one. However, when we highlight this table, okay, and we go to insert, all right, you're gonna find this thing right here that says chart. Now, when you click on this, it should give you a supply uh, curve, right? But when we get this, all right, it may look like uh, like a supply curve, but this is not. Okay, the reason why is because the x axis on this thing is price, and the y axis is quantity supplied. So therefore, they've been switched. Okay, so what do we do? As you know, price should be always on the y axis, and quantity supplied, or, or quantity, right, or demanded, right? Quantity supplied or demanded should always be on the x-axis so what do we do to fix this right well there's two ways to do this one way is by going to this chart editor right and then editing this uh, the the axis on these things but honestly I think that part takes a little too long honest uh, I think the second way it's probably a little bit easier okay and that's uh, just deleting this and we're simply just gonna highlight this thing and move it over to the right column perfect and uh, you can put it anywhere you want. Just kind of just store it off to the side. Now, uh, so we're going to have quantity supplied on the left column. And then price for this good, right, on the right column. Okay. Now, before you get started, I like to make a little bit, make this thing a little bit organized. So I'm going to go ahead and center all these bad boys here. 
Uh, I'm also going to highlight or bold the titles on those things. Uh, let's see. Quantity supplied. You could also shorten this by con calling it Q supplied, okay? Because we know that Q stands for quantity, right? Uh, these guys right here. Uh, let's do a little bit more. How about that? We're gonna make this table a bit longer, just uh, just so you get a hang of it, right? So for price, uh, you can pre you can highlight it and press this format as currency. So now this bad boy is a price. Let's go down a little bit deeper. How about to now uh, 11? But we're gonna go to 10, okay? Uh, this thing right here, quantity supplied. Let's deal with some bigger numbers. Why not? Okay. Uh, so how about let's make this uh, not 200? Maybe that's a little bit too big. Okay. I'm gonna do 45, 50, 55. 60 right and you can keep on doing this down to the end or uh, you can highlight this right and uh, Google Sheets is asking to learn the trend of what this pattern is so you're gonna go ahead and highlight it there's this little bubble thing or dot at the bottom till you get this little crosshair you click on it and you're gonna drag down alright it recognized that trend you see there now you have your five it goes by five so for every uh, for every dollar that this product increases by uh, the quantity supplied increases by five there you go all right perfect now our last step for this assignment we're just gonna go ahead and highlight our table or our supply schedule all right we're even with the uh, with the labels in the top we're gonna go to insert and we're gonna go to chart and then you click on it and you got yourself a successful supply curve with the prices on the uh, the price on the y-axis and quantity supplied at the x-axis just like that perfect I think the one thing I would change about this chart is the title alright we're gonna call this our supply curve that is exactly what it is okay easy as that perfect stuff okay and if you wanted to you could also uh, let's see I know you could change up the color and whatnot uh, like the theme and all that stuff all right here the, the the colors and all that stuff but that's all up to you I'm not gonna mess around with any of that stuff but maybe just so you can get a hang of how Google Sheets works but essentially for the premise of this assignment this stuff is uh, good to go right this is all I asked you for you to do as you follow along if you can successfully do this and turn it in uh, then perfect okay you actually have by uh, 11 o'clock or by 12 o'clock today that means uh, 12 a.m. Uh, or not 12 a.m. 12 p.m. because it, it, uh, the noon time is kinda weird okay uh, but maybe I'll create an extension alright let's have it due by 3 o'clock Tech, that would be theoretically when school is over. Um, don't forget to hop over to sheet two, where you have to fill out the supply, uh, which direction the supply ships. Okay, and that would be that. Okay. Now you're gonna follow along in the next video. I'm gonna be doing a little quick lesson about the elasticity or elasticity of supply. Perfect stuff. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I hope this video was uh, educational for you and it helped you out with everything. And uh, yeah. Be, uh, be sure to email me with any concerns, slopez at cusd.net. And uh, yeah, maybe uh, hopefully you guys are going to have a, uh, a nice second day of quarantine. And that's it. All right. Goodbye.